Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel, Nurse M.E. here. I have picked some questions to put your nursing knowledge to the test. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to post them in the comments section and I will respond to you. I passed the NCLEX on the first try and I would love for each one of you to pass as well. Now before we jump into the questions, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. And do not forget to drop a comment below sharing how many questions you got right. A two-year-old child presents with a fever and irritability. Upon examination, you notice a red, swollen epiglottis. What is the priority nursing intervention? A. Administer antipyretics. B. Obtain a throat culture. C. Provide cool mist therapy. D. Ensure a patent airway and prepare for possible intubation. The correct answer is D. Ensure a patent airway and prepare for possible intubation. Epiglottitis can obstruct the airway. Ensuring patency is critical to prevent respiratory arrest. A four-month-old infant with congenital heart disease presents with poor feeding and sweating during feeds. What is the priority nursing intervention? A. Encourage more frequent feedings. B. Position the infant semi-upright during feeds. C. Reduce caloric density of the formula. D. Administer diuretics before feeding. The correct answer is B. Position the infant semi-upright during feeds. Semi-upright positioning reduces cardiac workload and helps manage heart failure symptoms. A five-year-old child is diagnosed with Kawasaki disease. Which of the following is the most important to monitor during the acute phase? A. Platelet count. B. Cardiac status. C. Skin rashes. D. Liver function tests. The correct answer is B. Cardiac status. Kawasaki disease can cause coronary artery aneurysms. Monitoring cardiac status is crucial. A child with a history of asthma is admitted with acute respiratory distress. Which of the following would be a priority nursing action? A. Administer a sedative to keep the child calm. B. Place the child in a high Fowler's position. C. Perform chest physiotherapy. D. Start intravenous fluids. The correct answer is B. Place the child in a high Fowler's position. High Fowler's position maximizes lung expansion and improves oxygenation in respiratory distress. A six-year-old with type 1 diabetes presents with hypoglycemia. What is the immediate nursing intervention? A. Administer insulin. B. Provide a high-protein snack. C. Give 15 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates. D. Prepare for emergency intubation. The correct answer is C. Give 15 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates. Fast-acting carbohydrates quickly raise blood glucose levels in hypoglycemia. A 10-year-old with cystic fibrosis is admitted with a pulmonary infection. What should be the focus of the nursing care plan? A. Encourage fluid restriction. B. Initiate airborne isolation precautions. C. Perform chest physiotherapy and postural drainage. D. Administer insets for pain management. The correct answer is C. Perform chest physiotherapy and postural drainage. Chest physiotherapy and postural drainage help clear mucus and improve breathing in cystic fibrosis. A 7-year-old child with leukemia is receiving chemotherapy. Which of the following should the nurse prioritize? A. Providing a high-fiber diet. B. Monitoring for signs of infection. C. Encouraging contact sports for physical activity. D. Administering live vaccines. 
The correct answer is B. Monitoring for signs of infection. Chemotherapy increases infection risk due to immunosuppression. Monitoring for signs of infection is crucial. An 8-year-old child with a head injury shows signs of increased intracranial pressure, ICP. What is the nurse's priority intervention? A. Encourage fluid intake. B. Elevate the head of the bed to 30 degrees. C. Administer sedatives. D. Perform vigorous physical activity. The correct answer is B. Elevate the head of the bed to 30 degrees. Elevating the head of the bed helps reduce ICP and promotes venous drainage. A toddler with gastroenteritis is admitted with severe dehydration. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial treatment? A. Administer oral rehydration solution. B. Offer small sips of water. C. Start intravenous rehydration with isotonic fluids. D. Provide high sugar fluids to increase energy. The correct answer is C. Start intravenous rehydration with isotonic fluids. Severe dehydration requires rapid fluid replacement through four isotonic fluids. A three year old child presents with a suspected foreign body aspiration. What is the nurse's immediate priority? A. Perform a blind finger sweep. B. Encourage the child to cough forcefully. C. Perform back blows and chest thrusts. D. Obtain a chest x-ray. The correct answer is C. Perform back blows and chest thrusts. Back blows and chest thrusts can help dislodge the foreign body and restore airway patency. A 12-year-old child with juvenile idiopathic arthritis is experiencing a flare-up. What is the nurse's priority intervention? A. Encourage weight-bearing exercises. B. Apply cold packs to affected joints. C. Administer insets for pain relief. D. Encourage fasting to reduce inflammation. The correct answer is C. Administer insets for pain relief. Insets are effective in managing pain and inflammation during a flare-up of juvenile idiopathic arthritis. A five-year-old child is brought in with suspected meningitis. What is the nurse's priority action? A. Administer broad-spectrum antibiotics. B. Perform a lumbar puncture immediately. C. Place the child in isolation and initiate droplet precautions. D. Encourage oral fluids to prevent dehydration. The correct answer is C. Place the child in isolation and initiate droplet precautions. Droplet precautions are crucial to prevent the spread of bacterial meningitis. A 9-year-old child with asthma has an acute exacerbation. Which of the following is the priority nursing intervention? A. Administer a long-acting bronchodilator. B. Use a peak flow meter to measure lung function. C. Administer a short-acting beta-agonist inhaler. D. Provide high-flow oxygen therapy. The correct answer is C. Administer a short-acting beta-agonist inhaler. Short-acting beta-agonists provide rapid relief during an asthma exacerbation. A child with nephrotic syndrome presents with generalized edema. What is the most appropriate initial nursing intervention? A. Encourage a high-protein diet. B. Administer diuretics as prescribed. C. Restrict fluid intake. D. Increase sodium intake. The correct answer is B. Administer diuretics as prescribed. Diuretics help reduce fluid retention and alleviate edema in nephrotic syndrome. 
a four-year-old child is scheduled for a tonsillectomy. Which of the following preoperative instructions is most important? A. Inform the parents that the child can drink clear liquids up to one hour before surgery. B. Explain that the child will need to avoid dairy products after surgery. C. Instruct the parents to bring the child's favorite toy to the hospital. D. Explain the importance of keeping the child NPO, nothing by mouth, after midnight before surgery. The correct answer is D. Explain the importance of keeping the child NPO, nothing by mouth, after midnight before surgery. Keeping the child NPO reduces the risk of aspiration during anesthesia. A six-year-old child is diagnosed with idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, IDP. Which of the following activities should be avoided? A. Swimming. B. Playing board games. C. Contact sports. D. Watching television. The correct answer is C. Contact sports. Contact sports increase the risk of bleeding and should be avoided in children with IDP. A newborn is diagnosed with neonatal abstinence syndrome, NAS. What is the nurse's priority intervention? A. Provide frequent feedings. B. Swaddle the newborn tightly. C. Administer morphine as prescribed. D. Monitor for signs of dehydration. The correct answer is C. Administer morphine as prescribed. Morphine helps manage withdrawal symptoms in neonates with NAS. A five-year-old child with a history of febrile seizures presents with a high fever. What should be the nurse's immediate action? A. Apply a cooling blanket. B. Administer antipyretics as prescribed. C. Initiate seizure precautions. D. Start intravenous antibiotics. The correct answer is B. Administer antipyretics as prescribed. Antipyretics help reduce fever, which is the primary trigger for febrile seizures. A seven-year-old child with appendicitis suddenly reports relief from abdominal pain. What is the most likely explanation? A. The appendix has ruptured. B. The child is pretending to feel better. C. The appendix has become less inflamed. D. The child has a higher pain tolerance. The correct answer is A. The appendix has ruptured. Sudden relief from pain can indicate appendix rupture, which requires immediate medical attention. A child with Duchenne muscular dystrophy is experiencing difficulty walking. What intervention should the nurse prioritize? A. Encourage high-intensity exercise. B. Provide a wheelchair for mobility. C. Restrict physical activity to prevent fatigue. D. Administer muscle relaxants. The correct answer is B. Provide a wheelchair for mobility. Wheelchairs support mobility and independence as muscle weakness progresses in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Thank you very much.